Well, you did it. You upgraded to the B&O sound system when you bought your A5 or S5 Sportback or maybe even your RS5. <laughs> and then you listened to it and you were sad because there wasn't a lot of bass to be had, kind of sounded hollow. And yeah, I mean, the 3D sound was all right, but when you really turned it up, you only could go about halfway before things started to get distorted. So I had the same experience in my Sportback and I went on a journey. First, I replaced the subwoofer um, and that was an improvement, but you know, switching out the sub still sort of every once in a while, if you turned it up too loud, it would overdrive the amp and then you'd have to cut out. And then I looked at the Audi World forums and uh, was able to find a cool tutorial and spoke with a guy named Bruce Miranda. Uh, and he, uh, as well as others, recommended this route. We went with a 10 inch JL subwoofer in a baser stealth box and kicker key amp up to 500 watts and it's awesome. So, so then why would you need any improvement beyond that? Well, what I found was turning up the stereo system, uh, the subwoofer sounded awesome and quickly overpowered the rest of the system, unless you turned everything way up, in which case the speakers couldn't handle it. So uh, again, I reached out to the Audi World forums, went and talked to Bruce Miranda, and um, did a lot of back and forth with Bruce Miranda. I'm gonna link his website down in the description, and you can go talk with him as well. Um, I'll be putting all the, the links to the speakers and the parts and pieces that we used to complete this, but I went ahead and upgraded the rest of the speakers, minus a couple of the tweeters that are difficult to get to and don't really yield that much uh, benefit. So. Where'd we start first? Well, we started with the center speaker. Here is a graphic image of the center speaker and really the whole system layout, but we're gonna focus on the center speaker for this video. Um, the next video we'll focus on doing the door speakers, uh, both front and then the rear door speakers. So uh, after having done all this, you will have ended up with a fully, mostly fully upgraded b &O sound system. Um, leaving all the stock amps in place to drive the other speakers, and then adding the key, kicker key um, amp to drive the subwoofer. Let me tell you, even just switching out the center speaker on this is a huge, huge difference. Like, like night and day. Just the center speaker. It's a big deal. So let's get into the install, and I'll tell you what the review is like. All right. <laughs> So first step in getting this grill out is I'm using this um, trim remover tool. It's got a skinnier end on the front and I'm gonna just get it started under here and then slide it up and pop this corner loose. See if I can do it with one hand. So I got this corner popped up just a little bit. And now we're gonna pull up Using over this here. tool here. I started right here and then slid it back and then gently pried up this corner here. Now I'm gonna kind of follow this around, doing my best to pull the clips out without breaking it. Releasing this corner over here, I took this tool and slid it in to right about here and then I ever so gently pulled up and I'm just going to keep doing that following it around and what you can feel underneath is where the clips are and that's where you want to be kind of prying up just really gently. And uh, I'll put a link to the trim set or something like it um, in the description 
because you may need different sizes to pop in here and get the angles you need. Obviously, you've got the windshield in the way a bit, so um, just keep following this around. So, one other thing worth noting. So this is the speaker grill, and what we're working to do is release these metal clips, right? Um, they'll pull out, they're just basically like a, you know, just a metal clip that's pushed in there and held in by pressure. So what we don't wanna do is when we're trying to get everything out with the trim tools, we don't wanna come in here and separate this top grill from this bottom piece. You wanna try and get your tool up under here and use that to lift out so you're not breaking anything or uh, unnecessarily bending the metal grate on the top of your grill. And then it's just a matter of removing one, two bolts, um, disconnecting the speaker and dropping the new one in that uh, Bruce Miranda sent me. So this this is the bolt that's holding it in. I'm just, I got a little bit that's about 730 seconds that I used to get it out, nothing fancy. It's just in there hand tight. And because this is so tight, uh, I just happen to have a little, um, just a short screwdriver laying around and, and a bit that can go in there. So I can easily get to the back part and the front part and get it out of there. I mean, this isn't super strong, it's just a piece of plastic. Um, I imagine you can do it with whatever tools you got laying around for similar purposes. But I use 730 seconds. It's probably a metric side size, but this worked okay. And as soon as you get that last screw out of there, the speaker itself just lifts right out and we'll get in there and disconnect it. All right, so actually it looks like we're just gonna disconnect from this clip right here on the speaker and the uh, speaker from Bruce Miranda, which I'll show you here, uh, has a corresponding clip that just plugs in and then you drop in the new speaker and you're good to go. So here's a quick comparison of the two speakers. This is the stock OEM speaker, um, just a, a plastic shroud, a tiny magnet, uh, cheap paper cone. Looks like it already had maybe a crack in it. Or maybe that's just how the speaker's built, I don't know. But um, anyways, here's the speaker that you get when you order it from Bruce Miranda. Um, much higher quality speaker, a little bit bigger magnet, metal surround. He's already done you the favor of removing the extra tabs and um, creating a connection for that clip that we just removed. So we're gonna go plug this in, drop it in place, screw it back and put everything together and see how it sounds. So what you saw was me uh, kind of messing around and pushing the cable down into this cavity just so it doesn't flop around and get in the way. Um, and then after that, basically just a drop in. The holes line up, push it down into place and get it seated. And then we'll screw it, screw it in and see how it sounds. Looks better. All right, new speaker is all screwed in. Nice and tight, no movement there. Sounds good, there's the tweeter. We're gonna go ahead and put the grill back on. It should just pop right into place. And we'll turn on the car and see how it sounds. good so how does it sound i mean it was almost as night and day as replacing the subwoofer it's really hard to tell and have it translate into video on on this format but um the reality is the speaker is so much brighter so much louder and so much more crisp 
Uh, and because of its placement on the dashboard and the fact that it like reflects the sound off of the windshield, it's, it's an amazingly big difference that you get from this just right away. Um, these speakers are, are great. You can turn the volume up as loud as you want and they keep up with the subwoofer no problem. They cut through the bass um, and creates a nice balanced sound. And honestly, I don't know why B&O or Audi don't do this from the start. I mean, I guess to cut down costs or whatever, but if I got in the car and heard this sound system when I was trying to make my decision whether or not to spend the money for the upgrade, I think it'd be a no brainer. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. So um, next video, we'll get into the door speakers. Uh, we're putting the same speakers. They go into the mid on the door uh, and then you have a woofer on the door as well. So um, we'll get these installed in the next video on the doors and then we'll go through the tutorial on how to do that. And then the next video after that will be the rear doors um, and then we'll have one on the tweeters and the door pillars. All right, well, thanks for following along. Hope you enjoy this audio series. Let me tell you, your system will be really, really good when you're all done. All right, thanks, bye. Uh, these facials uh, go into, um, Whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. Fatal? Facial? I don't know. Anyways. All right. Keep your bag tight and your mods tasteful. I'm out.